talking today. So I'm going to mute you all now. And let's go ahead and come to the front of our mats. As you come to the front of your mat, you can make sure that you have props handy. If you have something for a block or blocks, if you have something for a pillow or bolster, something for a blanket, then all those things will be handy today. And so as you come to the front of your mat, you can set your feet up to inner hip distance or a little wider. It's okay to take that wider stance, especially in the beginning, because that sometimes is just a nicer thing to do for your, for your hips, your low back. And so as you look down at your feet, do a little rocking forward and back. So you're lifting up your toes and then lifting up your heels. And actually let that little lift happen if it's comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you don't have to. Very much noticing that shift of the weight forward and back. And then as you come to an even place on your feet, so fronts and backs of your feet are evenly planted, let's take a moment here with eyes closed to tune into our breath and tune into how our feet feel on the ground or on our mats, whatever you happen to be standing on. Even see if you can notice what the texture is underneath your feet. Notice if there's any temperature of that thing that you're standing on. Maybe if you were standing on a hardwood floor, it would be a little cooler. If you're standing on carpet, maybe a little warmer. Just notice for yourself for a moment what that detail is. And then let your breath become even more deep. Send it deeper into your body as you breathe in and out of your nose. And as you fill up with your breath to the lowest part of your belly and all the way up to the upper palate and crown of your head, just notice those places that tend to expand as you inhale and maybe contract as you exhale. And then even notice directions. Are there expansions down, out, and up? Now with hands coming together at heart center, let's set this intention of noticing those details that are just what's happening in the moment, what's there, what's present, and not judgment. Take a full breath. As you exhale now, bow towards your heart. You're welcome to let fingertips and forehead connect here if you would like. Take a deep breath. Then softly opening your eyes, release your hands down, and we're reaching through fingertips toward the ground, palms are forward. Lift up and open through your shoulders and take your right ear over to your right shoulder. You're welcome to take a hold of the side of your head with your right hand here if you would like, but then find even more rotation with your left arm. So you're trying to turn your thumb even further toward the wall behind you. Left shoulder blade engages onto your back. Take a full big deep breath. Inhale, come back into center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Holding on to the side of your head if you'd like to with your left hand. Right arm is finding more rotation. Thumb is rotating toward the wall behind you. Your shoulder blade is engaging onto your back. Take a deep breath. Then inhale back into center. And palms are reaching toward the ground. Shoulders are lifting up and back. Shoulder blades engage. Now tuck your chin down. Shake your head no toward the ground. And it can be a small shake 
or it can be a big shape. You can think of even lifting your chin considerably to each side if you want. Find what feels the best in your body here. And then lifting up with your chin toward the ceiling, keep shoulder blades engaging. Think of the neck muscles, your SCM and a few other muscles here that are connected, but long through the front neck muscles and even jut your chin up a little further so you might let your bottom teeth lift up higher. And then release that, come back into center. And then turn your head over to the right side, tuck your chin down, take a hold of the back of your head with your right hand. And now with your left hand, you're gonna reach around your back so that your palm is right up against your low back, palm facing back, and then inch your hand a little further across. Move your left shoulder blade further onto your back. Take a big deep breath. Inhale back up to center and turn your head over to the left side, tucking your chin down, taking a hold of the back of your head with your left hand. Right hand comes behind your back. Move your right shoulder blade further onto your back and then inch your hand a little further across to where it's most comfortable for you. And then as you tuck your chin a little further down, take a deep breath. And then back into center, releasing your head. Go ahead and reach through fingertips again. Lift up and open through your shoulders, long through the back of your neck. Take a big deep breath. Little bend to your knees now, hands to your hips. And as you start to move here, take a look down at your knees. You're keeping that little bend. You're keeping a lift of your shoulders, even as you look down for just a moment and then start to tilt your pelvis forward and back. As you tilt your pelvis forward and back, think of a tuck of the tail and then a movement of sitting bones back. And as you take this movement here, you're trying to let your knees stay pretty stationary. Tendency when you do this, when you move through the pelvis, especially if you have any tightness through the pelvis, the low back, hips, hamstrings, whatever's there, <laughs> it's all there, right? Then the tendency is to move other parts of your body with your hips. So try just moving your pelvis. Good, take a couple more big breaths. Try to keep that action of your knees staying pretty stationary as you lift your head and your shoulders up even as you move your pelvis. Good, okay. Now, sitting bones move back, walk your hands down your thighs coming to the tops of your knees here with your knees bent. Extend your heart forward, send your sitting bones up, and even more so, try to find that rotation of inner thighs back. With your hands on your knees here, when you make that movement, you might feel your knees try to turn in, but you're gonna stop them from turning in. You're gonna keep them opening up a little bit. Take a big deep breath and start here, keeping shoulders stationary, but moving hips side to side. And now hip stationary, shoulders move side to side. And now as you come back into center, you can bring elbows down to your knees here or you can come all the way into your fold with your arms hanging, your head hanging, your choice. Take a couple big breaths in this variation of fold that you choose. Inhale, lengthen partway, hands up above your knees, send your sitting bones up, extend forward with your ribs and collarbones. Exhale and fold. And now we're planting fingertips and you can always use blocks here if you would like. Step your right foot back into your lunge. Center with your hips and extend forward with the front of you. So think of your front ribs and your collarbones moving forward. Deep breath.
And now back knee comes to the ground. Hands come up to your hips as you come to this lifted lunge with your back knee down. Lift your chest and your heart. And as you open up through your chest, think of drawing your left hip back in space and pressing your right knee down a little so your hips stay a little lifted, a little elevated. Take one more big breath. And exhale, bring hands down to your blocks or the floor. Walk your hands to the inside and we'll come to this alligator or lizard variation with your leg up close to your body here. Extend your heart, and then you're working down toward one elbow, maybe two elbows, and take a big breath. Find that length through the front of you. Find your big toe pushing down on your left leg, and that action of your left hip wrapping back. And then rising back up to your hands, hands on either side of your front leg, lift your back knee and step forward. Pause, find inner hip distance apart and parallel with your feet. Take an inhale and lengthen part way. Heart expands forward, exhale and fold. Fingertips are planting, you're stepping. Left foot back into your lunge and we'll pause in this runner's lunge here with the knee lifted first to wrap the hip back on the right leg and go longer through your ribs, your chest, your heart, longer through your spine, deep breath. And now back knee comes to the ground and bring your hands up to your hips to rise. And now right hip, draw it back in space, but then allow your knee to bend so that your knee is coming to stacked over your ankle or even further past a little bit toward your arch. Take a big deep breath as you lift up and open through your heart. Press down with your back knee here. That helps to keep a little stability, keeps your hips from sinking. Then exhale, hands come down to the front of your mat and we're working them to the inside. And again, blocks are always an option here or whatever you're using for a prop. Your front leg is right up close to your body as you work down towards one elbow, maybe two. So there are different ways to do this, but this close position is just one of the ways that we can get into some of the connective tissue of our hips. Sometimes we take our foot out wider, but push down with your big toe mount and wrap your hip back on the right side. Take a big breath. Let your breath help you expand your front body more. Ribs and collarbones move forward. And then coming back to your hands, rising back up, hands on either side of your front foot, lift your back knee and step forward. Inhale and lengthen part way. Send sitting bones up, extend your heart. Exhale and fold over your legs. Hands to hips, press back on hips, lift shoulders up, lift elbows toward the sky and rise all the way up to stand so you're already open through the chest. So now we're gonna take a hip and a thigh stretch, both. If you want, you can come to a wall. That's always an option when we do our balances. So find your balance onto your left foot. And we're gonna bring our right knee into our hand first. Flex your foot, lift your chest, and then open your knee up to the right. From this place, notice your standing glute and squeeze it as you push down into the ground. Helps to bend your knee a little, squeeze and push. Lift your chest. And then notice the glute action that can help your knee open up even more. Good, now bring your knee back into center. We're gonna slide our hand down our shin and you can always use a strap here to bring your foot behind you. Or another option is to have just a bent knee, not holding onto the foot at all, your choice. Either way, we're reaching through the thigh and we're squeezing our standing glute to push into the ground and stand taller. Lift your ribs, your chest, your heart. Feel free to stretch that left arm to the sky. Lift your ribs up, take another big breath. 
Exhale, release your foot back down, release your arm back down if it's lifted. And just feel both feet on the ground. Even close your eyes here and again, notice. Can you sense the texture and the temperature of the ground underneath your feet? Full breath. And then find your balance onto your right foot. Lift your left knee up toward your chest and hold on to your knee here. Flex your foot and open it up. And now again, focus on that squeeze of the right glute. Bend your right knee and push into the ground to stand taller. Good, take a big breath and use your glute to help your knee open more on the left side. Good, now back into center and slide your hand down your shin. Maybe take a hold of your foot behind you. Maybe use a strap, or you can always bend your knee and reach through your thigh. That too is a quad stretch. So as you take that, whatever variation, if you want, you can reach your right arm, but notice the standing leg, squeeze your glute, push into the floor and reach through your thigh, full breath. And then gently release your foot, release your arm back down, bring hands to connect at heart center. As you close your eyes, take a deep inhale and exhale. Just notice the sensations, even those energetic sensations of having just balanced. Inhale, stretch up overhead. Exhale, bent knees, fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen part way, long spine. Exhale and fold. Plant fingertips. You're stepping right foot back into your lunge. And this time we're keeping our knee lifted, if that's in your practice. Hands come up to your hips to rise. Center with your hips. Lift up and open through your chest. And if you'd like to this time, you have your choice. You can either clasp your hands behind your back or you can take a hold of opposite elbows here, whichever feels the best to help you lift your front ribs up higher. And even think, even if you have your opposite elbows, even think of drawing shoulders back and even hug elbows back. Take a big deep breath, hug in with the belly and the ribs. Good, okay, release your hands and take hands down to your blocks or the floor. You're bringing your back knee down again. And this time, take your right hand to a block or the floor on the edge of your mat, left hand to your knee as you take a spinal twist to the left side. And now we're gonna add the quad stretch here. So bend your back knee. And you might stay right here with your knee bent as you press just a little down with your back knee. Or you might take your left hand around to take a hold of your heel, your foot, whatever feels the best in your body. You might use a strap. Take a big deep breath wherever that is. I really like the option of just bending my knee. Full breath. And then gently release your hands down, release your foot down. And this time we're gonna step back either to hands and knees or to a downward facing dog pose to take a moment with your breath, finding length through the spine, finding that even place for your body, finding an even breath, and notice what's present for sensation. What's there and where? And then walking your feet forward, coming into your forward fold at the front of your mat, take an inhale and lengthen part way, long spine, exhale and fold over your legs. And then plant fingertips again, you're stepping left foot back into your lunge, back knee lifted this time if, you, if it's in your practice, bring your hands up to your hips. And just know that it's always an option to have that back knee down. Wrapping your right hip back and lifting up with your chest. And now you're taking your variation here. Clasp hands or take opposite elbows. And if you are holding opposite elbows, try to switch them. Lift up and open through your chest. Shoulders are up and back. 
Even think of triceps hugging back toward each other. Big breath. Exhaling, hands come down to your blocks or the floor. Back knee is coming to the ground. And then work your left hand to a block or the floor. Right hand to your knee as you turn your belly and your heart to the right side. And then you're bending your left knee. And from that place, you get to decide. And sometimes when you reach back for your foot, you might feel a little um, intensity through something other than the quad, like the hamstring or the glute. So you get to notice what that is and come back to the place that is still a stretch for your quad, but isn't an intensity in other places, okay? So maybe just bend your knee and press that knee gently into the ground. One more big breath. And then exhale, both hands come back down. You're settling back this time onto hands and knees and then take your variation of a child's pose. Hips back towards your heels. Head resting down if that's comfortable. And then you can add a little movement here. Side to side sway through your hips. Maybe inching fingertips a little further forward. And now gently pushing yourself back up to your seat. Come all the way down to sitting bones. And then we're gonna take a little hamstring stretch. So if you do have a blanket, you get to find a roll. And set that roll, it can be a big roll or a little roll right underneath your hamstrings. Think about midway down your thighs. And then set legs out straight in front of you or straight-ish. There's always going to be a little bend to the knees, especially if you have something underneath your thighs. So move the sitting bones. And then as you flex your feet, toes pull back, press your heels down, and then lift up and open through your chest. From this place, walk your hands forward along through your spine as far forward as your body is ready for. And with this, I always like to mention that sometimes it's more comfortable on the low back, the hips, the hamstrings, whatever, to have your legs wider. So feel free to adjust and take your legs wider if you want. Inhale longer through your spine again, and exhale. Fold as deeply as your body is ready for, and you might take hands to your feet here. You might keep hands on the floor on either side of your legs. And where it feels the best, where you feel a level of stretch, but also an ability to breathe and calm. And now inhale, rise all the way back up and walk your feet back in and move the blanket aside and come all the way down onto your back. And from your back, you're taking knees up close and feel free to take them wide or narrow, whichever feels the best. And you're pulsing a little bit here. So instead of that rock that we often do, you're moving your knees in and out gently. And now set footprints on the ground and locate one of your blocks and set it in between your thighs. We're starting to move into a core strengthening activity here. So from this place, take your hands to your upper thighs, right up at your hip creases and give your upper thighs a push so much that your pelvis tilts, your low back will lift up a little bit. You might even have space to put a hand under there. So a little bit of lumbar curve. And then you're engaging the low belly without pushing your low back down. So hug your low belly in and then hug your low ribs in. Think of cinching them in together. So your ribs get to move to the ground, but your low back stays a little bit lifted. Squeeze into the block and lift your legs up to a 90 degree angle here. And as you find that place, the idea is that you keep 
that same curve to your spine. So there's space at the low back. Your ribs are pressing down. Your low belly is engaging. Take a big breath. Hug in with the muscles of your legs. And now to add a little bit to it, this might be plenty for you. We're gonna take our hands to our legs and push. Trying to push your legs away, but resist and don't let them move. Now tone the low belly and the ribs. Keep the lumbar curve. Take a big breath. And then release, setting feet down, set the block aside. And then your choice, you can come back to pulling knees up close or walk your feet wide and take your knees side to side into a windshield wiper. And now this time, extend your legs out long, reach through your heels, and then reach your arms by your sides. And we're gonna try to find that same curve, that tilt of your pelvis, so that your sitting bones are moving down, your low back has that space. Engage the low belly, hug it in. Engage the ribs, hug them in. And then from the ribs up, you're gonna lift your torso. Arms are by your sides. And as you lift your torso, Try to keep that lumbar curve, that's tricky. Engage the low belly, and now we're gonna take some side to side movement where we reach with one set of fingertips toward the side of your foot and then the other side. And so we're reaching here, this is fondly called the penguin, at least when I teach kids anyway. We're working a little bit of those obliques, those side core muscles. As you move side to side, Try to stay evenly upright with your ribs and your upper body. And then go ahead and rest. And then walk your feet in, drop knees in together to touch, and then reach your arms overhead. Take a big deep breath. And now we're making our way into our most comfortable resting pose, which can involve a bolster or pillow underneath your legs. But really whatever variation of resting is calling to you right now. As you start to let your body settle, as you start to let your mind settle, notice what the sensations are and notice where they are. Even maybe for a moment, give the sensations a descriptive word. Maybe they have a temperature. Maybe they have a location. And then give everything permission to settle. Bringing awareness back to your breath. And 
and bring gentle movement into fingers and into toes. As you're ready to bend your knees and roll over to your side. And then slowly press yourself back up to your seat. And as you bring hands to connect at heart center and close your eyes if it's comfortable, take a moment once again to notice the details of your body and of your mind without any judgment thoughts, just noticing the details. Have a very peaceful, very beautiful day. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>